G'day, welcome back to Rip's Garage. Uh, so a bit of time has gone by since I filmed the footage that you're about to see. Uh, basically I film it all when I can, when I get time, and then I edit it when I get time to edit it. So it's been a couple of months, um, but it's winter now, and what we're about to see is wiring up the ignition side of things. So the coil, the OctaSpark box, and some of the sensor wires. Hope you enjoy. So what I'm going to do now, <coughs> um, I've tidied that side up a fair bit. Uh, this is the plug that goes to the idle air control. And uh, when I was pulling it apart, I saw that the wiring was um, pretty bad. I, there's a break in the wiring here. Um, I think that joins up to that red lead. And then it's got this sort of extra cabling attached, which doesn't do anything. So I'm just going to pull that apart and see what's going on there and try and tidy it up and then that'll be another job out of the way. Sorry about that. I'm just going to plug the IOC plug back in, and that way we know where that goes and we won't lose it. And uh, these two wires we can tuck back up here out of the way. We'll remember that they're for the IOC. Next job <coughs> is going to be uh, moving this Opto Spark box. Now, originally, I was going to pop it underneath the uh, guard there, out of the way, but it's very important that it doesn't get wet. It's got to stay out of the weather and uh, I could put it in an enclosure under there, but I'd just rather keep it in the engine bay. Um, and I reckon the perfect spot for it would be, if I can get enough of the lead to just pop it under there like that. So when you're standing in front of the car and look in the engine bay, you won't really see it and it's nicely tucked out of the way. So, just for reference, we're going to see what these wires are. Uh, so you've got red, black and white going into the red, black and white. They go to the distributor. And then you've got green. Uh, that was green. Um, orange is a red wire and yellow is a white wire. Okay, so I'll undo all that and trace these wires back into the loom to see if I need to shorten or lengthen them. Um, we'll go from there. goes over to the fuel injection loom near the MSD box and this blue wire goes underneath underneath the dash so I'll follow that and let you know where it comes out so I followed that blue wire down and that's it there and it joins up here in this little bundle of wires um, and that there looks to be, it's a black with a yellow, that's the original factory wiring, it looks to be a 12 volt accessory wire. It also feeds off to one of the gauges. The, um, the temperature gauge there seems to get its power from that, that connection. So what it looks like is the other blue wire that was going off to the fuel injection loom. Uh, the fuel injection loom must need 12 volts accessory as well and they just happen to tee it in at the back of this one. So I'll definitely undo that and bring it much closer to this loom so that we don't have all the excess wires running around in the engine bay. So I've finished installing the uh, electronic control module for the ignition under the radiator support. 
given it a bit of a clean up and I've put a proper earth there so the earth's mounted to the um, mounting bolt under there I like to use black cables for earth um, and on each of these I've used proper eyelets as well and then heat shrunk them uh, so they're all quite good and sturdy I will wrap them up in some sort of uh, protection though um, then you follow this over here and that goes to the distributor I've given that a bit of a clean up inside as well and I've reinstalled the uh, sensor under the rotor button there just pull that up for you so the sensor's in there uh, it's all tight and um, the cap's ready to go back on all right back on the wiring uh, next job is to wire up the coil so what I've done is I've isolated the wires that come off the MSD and they need to be attached to the coil there's also a few wires that come off the uh, OptiSpark that's the distributor control module um, they're on the other side of the guard so we'll pop them through somewhere so that we don't see them maybe somewhere underneath the coil um, they need to be hooked up and um, of course you need, a, you need a beer make it go a bit easier that's a nice pale ale that one um, not very pale but you know I do my best alright so we'll start stripping these back and I can see there's a bunch of dodgy connections already looks like they've been uh, you know just lengthened by connecting extra wires on so we'll undo all that see where it lands us and uh, go from there my plan on this side is to get all these wires from the MSD ignition box and all these other wires that came from the battery um, and try and hide them so the ones that come to the front here I'll put inside the guard like I did on the other side and these ones that have to head over to the other side of the engine bay and probably the majority of these I'm going to run them through that grommet there um, so that I don't have to cut any more holes in the firewall any that need to go to this side I'll probably just run them up through the existing grommet so we'll go into the car now and see if we can uh, find where that grommet is and pop it out and see if there's a good cable path behind it so here we are inside the car this is the passenger side footwell um, I've pulled away some of the insulation don't know how well you can see that let me just get that out of the way um, so I'll see if I can get the torch up in there just behind that cable there is our grommet I'll see if I can pop the torch up here there we go and I've got the end of a, a file here because it's a bit soft See if I can pop that out. Doesn't really seem to want it. Want to move? Oh, there we go. Is that moving? No, that's just the torch light. Let's see if I can get it from the other side. Our grommet. This is quite a thin one so we might either drill a hole through that and pass the wires through or get one of our cable glands and see if they fit. I'll grab one now and see. That is a perfect fit. So it'll obviously go the other way. That is perfect. All right, we'll do that. Make sure all of our cables can fit inside the, the gland. And once we're ready, we'll pass them through with the gland on this side. And then we'll just have to run the, uh, the nut up the back side there. Just to show you how these work, uh, you put this end, the small end, through the bulkhead. And then you've got a rubber washer that you fit over it and a nut so you lock that with the bulkhead in between and then this side sort of flexible and once your cables are through it 
you can tighten it down. And what that'll do is by tightening it, it'll force all these bits together and make a nice tight watertight seal around the cables. So let's go ahead and see what cables need to go through there. So I've pulled those wires for the ignition system through. <coughs> I've got to do them one at a time because um, it's just too hard to grab a bunch of them underneath there. They all get tangled. So it's taking a while. You can see them going through on this side. That's them. Um, and yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm having to do them one at a time because it's just too hard to pull a bunch through. And I've got to sort out this whole mess and see which ones do need to go there. Um, I'm probably just going to show you the highlights as I go because otherwise we'd be here for hours. I think I've already spent maybe two or three hours every other day working on this. So all up probably six or seven hours so far. Um, it's definitely, definitely a hard job. Well, not, not so much hard as time consuming. Um, and if I know, if I knew what everything was um, and didn't have to figure it out and label it as I go, it'd probably be a lot quicker. But because I'm sort of fixing up someone else's wiring, um, it's just, just taking forever. All right, so this side of the MSD ignition box uh, is all being fed through that grommet. All we've got to do is move this earth for the uh, blower motor so that it'll slip underneath and then I'll put that back in. Um, now this cable here that's sticking out of that loom, that's an earth as well. Um, ridiculously long earth. So what we'll do is we'll terminate it about here, put a proper eyelet on it, and I'll probably earth it to this mounting bolt. I'll just make sure that there's a good connection and that should sort this whole side out. So let's get to it. So that's much neater already. Got all the wires in this uh, sheath. Uh, I've put that earth back and I've put another earth here and I put a proper eyelid on there. Cleaned up all the um, contact areas. So that's not going anywhere. That's nice and solid and it goes straight into the uh, under dash area. So I've taped those wires up <coughs> so they're easy to pass under the dash there. Um, and I fixed up a bunch of dodgy connections. But, I found, where is it, I found, down here, a bullet terminal, eh? First proper connection I've seen in the whole loom. Anyway, we'll pass that through, and once it's on the other side, we'll probably slip it through the gut. For the coil wiring, I'm just going to drill a hole right underneath here, and put a grommet in. I've got these 3 8 by half inch grommets. Um, so if I drill a hole just under there and pop a little grommet in, that should be pretty much out of the way. And all the wires just have to connect to these two bolts here and possibly an earth. Um, so it shouldn't, shouldn't look very messy. I've had to take this loom apart uh, to tee into certain wires that I needed, um, but I think I've got it all sorted now. So what we've got is the, the bulk of the loom here, which will be wrapped up again. Um, that goes down to those relays and it goes to the uh, all the headlight wiring. Uh, we've got our coil wires, that's these two, positive and negative. Um, and then there's this branch off that goes underneath the wheel well and into the engine bay and that's got a um, 
let's see, that's the brake switch. The red one is for the starter motor. And this one here is the oil temp sensor. So what I'm going to do is probably right around this, uh, I don't know how well you can see that, right around this bolt hole somewhere around here, I'll be drilling a hole and putting a grommet in. So that should come out just about there. You can see where that bolt hole is. So one wire will go to that switch there for the uh, master cylinder. Another one will tee off and plug into the temp sensor, which is just there. And the last one will go down to the starter motor, which is under the manifold. Distributor is all wired up with the OptoSpark box. It's all covered in sheath. Uh, we've got our coil wired up as well, positive negative side, and we've got our sensor wires coming in through the grommet, and they're going off to the uh, oil temp, the starter, the brake light switch, which is under there somewhere, and I've also added this top yellow one you can sort of see here that's just coming in and out of focus. Uh, that's a water temp sender. I've added that in So there you go catch you in the next step